a individual sport, so it's all down to you. You know, I've got a great support team around me, but ultimately, when you win, it is down to yourself. It's all very well saying, you know, I've got me training with me, got me other three people, but I get out, and it's them that's left in there on their own. It's a lifestyle, it's living the life, it's the training, it's the constant dieting. You've got a journey, you've got a destination, it's all mapped out right. What's my room, you've got pictures of fighters everywhere and from being about 12, 13 years old, up until now, it's been all boxing really. Tony's really good, I mean, he's got that good schooling of an amateur. First started boxing at 14 down in Finchley Boxing Club, and I was 15 when I had my first fight. I had my last fight at 24. I still wanted to do it, and I saw, you know, pro being, you know, possibly a route for me, so I decided to jump on it. I called Ian on the telephone and then we met up and um, gelled well together and I've been working with him for about six months now. He's got me so sharp, all my shots now are much crisper, my jab's firing good again and I feel, I feel really good again. He's doing well Tony, I mean in all fairness to him he ain't had the easiest opposition in the first three fights. My first fight was a great learning curve fight. I was in there with an experienced journeyman. I won uh, all four rounds unanimously on points. Second one was also against an experienced fighter on the circuit. I was a lot more relaxed and doing again what I've been working on with Ian. And uh, again, I won the fight unanimously. I won every round 40-36. Straight after my second fight, I went into training for the third because we knew that we wanted to get one more in before Christmas. With Tony, you know what, he's 31, but he's a fit 31. You know, you, you never have to worry about him, makes his weight, and it's great. I do the, the hill runs over at Parliament Hill, which is near where I live. You know, get up and down Parliament Hill, you know, eight times, ten times, then up Swains Lane near where I live. I had three opponent changes that week, so after the second opponent change, I thought, you know, it's not even guaranteed to be this one. Woke up this morning about 10 o'clock, pretty chilled, all relaxed, and I looked at my phone and had three calls from my promoter, you know, three missed calls. So I called him up and he just said to me, Tony, there's been another change of opponent. Particularly at Tony's stage in his career, we might find the fella he's fighting was fighting the week before. You know, he might have picked up a cut in that fight, so he can't, might have picked up an injury. All of a sudden, that date with Tony's gone out the window, so we've got to find someone else. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is at that level of your career. This is his pro debut, I know nothing about him, and uh, yeah, he's coming in for a fight, so just happy to have an opponent, really. Ready to roll, ready to do it. Really plush room, um, really nice banking suite, and the ring we've set up right in the middle of the room under a massive chandelier light, so that was you know pretty different, but as Ian said to me, you can put a boxing ring anywhere, but a ring's a ring, and you know, go out and do your thing. When that time actually comes, it's like a culmination of everything coming together and, you know, you feel ready, you feel really good. When you're getting your hands wrapped, it feels like it's being done for a reason. This is, you know, it's what you've been training for and it's almost time to go. I knew on the night I was going to get a southpaw. I think I got tagged in the first 
20 seconds of the fight with a, a right hook over my jab. You know, you might have given the first round to him, you might have given it to me. Second round, again, you might have given it to him or given it to me. I felt that my fitness played a big part towards the end of round three because I still felt really fresh. And then coming back in the corner, Ian said to me, you need a big round to win this because it's a close fight. You could be heading for a draw. Throw the right to your right as he's moving to his left all the time. put pressure on straight away and I'm, you know, I'm looking to land that big shot but still letting my punches go. 40 seconds into round four, landed, landed the right hook that ended the fight. When you land that punch and you know you've landed it sweetly, it's like a, a shot of electricity through your body, all the work you put in has, you know, has paid off. The buzz of winning is great and, and as I say, knowing that you've had a part in, in, in helping that boy do it is fantastic.